I gotta say, this video is an incredible 1010 video. It started off so goddamn fast and, and so goddamn good. Straight up banger. All time great. Might be one of their best videos of all time. Okay. Oh, I'm so proud of them. Sorry. So last month, we were on a flight with fellow Aussie YouTuber, Friendly Geordies. Just a completely normal domestic flight. Just just the regular old takeoff and you, you're the landing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, un until we were, you know, pulled off the plane by federal police. If you are on board, just make your way forward to the uh, front of the cabin. Yeah, that's awesome. How many cops do you reckon? Hello. 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 Yeah, fine. Hello. 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 I just wanted to have a chat to you in relation to uh, any some of you guys run at Point Gap. Uh, at the remote Pine Gap spy station, a collection of domes in the desert, but a place very few Australians know much about at all. The most powerful American domes. intelligence facility outside of the United States. No, no, close the gate, close it. No, 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 stop. Powerful domes! This is by far the scariest video we've ever made. Oh, we, we it's so funny. These mother went to North Korea. Okay. Think about that. These mother went to North Korea, dog. Okay. And he's saying this is by far the scariest video they've ever filmed. He went to North Korea. Teamed up with friendly Geordies to sneak into Pine Gap, which is one of the CIA's most important spy bases. But before we get into that, the most obvious question is what is this giant American base doing on the other side of the world in the middle of Australia? Well, first off, it shouldn't be controversial to say the CIA wants to control the world, right? Like, surely there's no one out there who thinks they're not doing that. They've got the most... Excuse me, I just watched Donald Herald, and, and honestly, I don't think that, okay? Sorry, I'm hopped up on liberalism right now, and I don't think that they do want that. Maybe they want regional stability. Have you thought about that? No, you haven't. You don't think about anything, okay? F Australians, dude. Oh, the CRA, why do they have bases in my country? Oh... Why do they look like golf balls? Why do they make golf balls in Australia? Oh, it's, it's for regional stability. Duh. It's advanced. Yeah, they're called friendship bases. Thank you. They're spying for friendship, dude. You don't understand. Lights in the world and they're sucking up everyone's information, which, you know, it's good on you. But they've got a big problem, right? And I'll explain it to you over there. All right, so let's pretend this globe here is uh, planet Earth, and then this can of toxic industrial lubricant is a satellite. So these satellites are flying all around Earth, just booming their signals down. But the issue with the Americans, right, is that they've got spy bases here. They can only access satellites up here. They've got no access to the ones down here. But if they were to build a satellite base in a foreign country like Australia, suddenly they've got access to all the satellite signals coming down here. Pretty clever, right? <laughs> So if they wanted to, you know, send a missile into a wedding in, let's say, in Iraq, or if they wanted to, you know, eavesdrop on conversation. If they want, if they wanted to eavesdrop on conversations down in, in, in Madagascar, they just do it through Pine Gap. Now, thanks to some average looking whistleblowers like Edward Snowden and much hotter ones like Christopher Boyce, we have access to all these leaked documents exposing the inner workings of Pine Gap. Now, now get this, the base is codenamed Rainfall and it's part of a top secret international spy infrastructure called Five Eyes. These CIA guys are literally out here laughing as Bond films. It's so embarrassing to read. But thanks to these documents, we know all about Pine Gap. We know about their capabilities and how important they are to the US, but you don't- Bro, he has, dude, they have papers that they're highlighting this is john this is john harris you really need to read these like i mean unless you're a youtuber and you want to look smart like th these leaks are redundant see the american government is so nice okay thank god he's not doing the reading okay he's not like john i'm so proud of its surveillance just kidding oh i don't think he reads them either he just highlights them <laughs> of the whole world that their cia agents just brag about it at every opportunity anyway the pine gap satellites are the most sophisticated pieces of military hardware ever created by the United States government. They are very, very effective at intercepting signals. And the person on the other side, of course, can hear that, that person as clearly as you can hear me speaking in front of you today. So who's using that communication signal? Is it Saddam Hussein talking to his generals or is it mom and dad talking to their kids? Now, you may think it's weird that a CIA agent is admitting to a room full of people that he actively spies on their conversations with their kids. But rest assured, the kind of people who attend CIA lectures are the kind of people whose grandkids stopped speaking to them years ago. And we'll probably forget everything <laughs> in this lecture in an hour once their bingo game starts. Has anybody here been involved in weapons testing? 
I can suck a few, a, few, a few hands up. Now, just to be clear for all the nerds out there, this guy right here is technically an NSA agent, not a CIA agent. But for the rest of this video, when I say CIA, I mean CIA, DIA, NSA, NRO, and every other US intelligence institution. I, I feel like I'm in the laundry aisle whenever I talk about the US government's monstrous global surveillance apparatus. You know, for, for the rest of this video, ultra oxy, free and gentle, original, downy, it, it's all the CIA. Downy. We're talking about US spy bases here. But Pine Gap wasn't always this hub for global surveillance. For, for 75,000 years, this place... I, I gotta say, this video is a f incredible 1010 video so far. It started off so goddamn f uh, fast and, and so goddamn good. Straight up banger. All time great. Might be one of their best videos of all time. Okay. Oh, I'm so proud of them. I'm so, I get so excited when your f boys are popping off. You know what I mean? God damn. This was the home of Indigenous Australians, who are planet Earth's oldest human civilization. And then, white people showed up. They kind of came out of nowhere 200 years ago and genocided the original Australians. Which conveniently made the outback a lot more spacious and offered some much needed privacy for civilised games of croquet or maybe a massive secret CIA base. So, with the traditional owners of the land out of the way, everything was going well for the CIA in Australia. Until the 60s, when all these people inexplicably started dyeing their clothes and doing acid and making weird noises. But the one thing these hippies did, which wasn't you know, super annoying, was they decided they don't really like the idea of a shadowy organisation that wants to spy on you and control the world. And in Australia, this meant there were constant protests and waves of people trying to break into this giant American spy base in the middle of the outback. How did I meet them? Fun story. I met them because uh, Alex, who is uh, in the video uh, originally, but you haven't seen him yet, um, wanted to fight me for Creator Clash. That's how I met them. I had watched Alexa's videos in the past and actually was a fan, but I uh, did not know that, that one, they were besties, two, that they had actually, uh, that they'd actually been the haircut video guys that I had watched in the past as well. And uh, immediately I was like, wow, there's like, there's socialists in Australia? I didn't realize that was allowed. I didn't even know. I did not know that there were, there were such things. I was genuinely shocked. Immediately I was like, these guys are awesome. But let's be real, no, no one cares what thousands of hippies have to say. Like, I'm Aussie and hadn't heard of either of them until you mentioned Alex wanting to fight you. The, the real issue for the CIA came in the 70s when we elected a new leader. A guy called Goff Whitlam. Now he was super unique, firstly because his name's Goff. Like what the f is that? I've never met a guy called Goff. You, you've definitely never met a guy called Goff. Wikipedia doesn't show any other mentions of another person with the first name Goff. It's just a crazy made up name that'll never ever exist ever again. <laughs> But the other thing that made him unique is that he wanted an independent Australia that wasn't going to be bullied by foreign superpowers. He pulled Australian troops out of Vietnam and the Americans were like, you doing golf? I thought we had something special. Remember that time we got all those children and burnt them alive? Well, you're turning your back on all these fun times we had. And like a classic toxic boyfriend, the CIA started bugging Australian parliament and surveilling Goff's party. And when Goff found out, he responded by perfectly normal stuff. Also, uh, excuse me, Richard Nixon was just a fan of that sort of thing. He bugged himself. Okay. You can't get mad at the guy for doing that he did it to himself literally led to him basically you know you know the story i mean come on that's his thing he, he does it so much it's f***ed up. up it's his culture it's his culture people hate a consistent king okay people are out here hating on a consistent king he loved it so much he did it to himself it's like when people say hassan you're not a socialist like you don't live out your values true <coughs> richard nixon he did live out his values by threatening to close Pine Gap. And this was a step too far for the Americans. The CIA saw Goff as a serious threat, so they simply orchestrated a coup to get rid of the democratically elected leader of Australia. So how did the Americans get rid of our prime minister? Well, it turns out there's this completely symbolic position in Australian government called the Governor General. It's a bullshit remnant of the English monarchy, an unelected person whose only job is to dress like a idiot and rubber stamp everything that the parliament votes on. So a guy called John Kerr was the Governor General at the time, and coincidentally, he was also secretly working for the Americans. The CIA called him Our Man Kerr. They were paying for all his travel and generally showering him with money so he could, I don't know, buy as many stupid hats as he wanted. And even more coincidentally, it turned out there was this dusty old law that said the Governor General has the power to dismiss the Prime Minister. It's so funny that they were just, they just took it. Or they just took that. Like, imagine being so cucked. Dude, I love, I love how cooked the Commonwealth nations are. It's so funny. Also, America, America literally is at this point using England as a, as a doll. Like, America using 
the British monarchy, the remnants of the British monarchy to their advantage. You're double cucked. Like, think about it. There's a whole day for it, man. I thought Anzacs, you know? I thought that was like the whole thing. You hated the monarchy because they forced you to go and die in Gallipoli under Turkish fire. Now you're getting double dick down and it's not even the British monarchy. All of a sudden now it's America directing the British monarchy to you. And that's exactly what he did. I mean, this has never, ever happened before. The CIA essentially terminated the democratically elected leader of Australia. The Prime Minister, Mr. Whitlam, has been sacked. The opposition leader, Mr. Fraser, is the new Prime Minister of Australia. He was replaced with a more subservient Prime Minister who immediately renewed Pine Gap's contract. And no leader ever since. You guys are cooked too. You can only vote for two geriatric dipshits who f you every day. Yeah, no, everyone is cooked. It's just funny because everyone also votes for geriatric dipshits except the one time when you vote for a guy who's like i'm not gonna be a geriatric dipshit i don't want to be america's like you know cum rag uh they america comes in and is like our geriatric dipshit is gonna f yours up and says dare to question all the secret cia bases spread across our country now, we all know about the Americans and their little hobby of getting rid of democratically elected leaders in enemy countries in the third world, but it turns out they do this to their friends too. We accepted that our island was just a giant US military base and no form kind of up, yeah, they just, that was a, that was a stability coup, okay? That's called a friendship coup, duh. Little known, little known type of, of uh, friendship and stability, st stability delivery mechanism is is when you do that yeah <laughs> stability island <laughs> democracy would ever get in the way of that and by the way calling australia a giant u.s military base isn't an exaggeration the, these top secret american bases are literally everywhere like this thing what what what, what the is this it's even more secretive than pine gap they're the tallest man-made structures in the southern hemisphere but we have no idea what they're doing all we know is that every now and then when a passenger plane flies near it, it mysteriously malfunctions and suddenly plunges to the ground, prompting the International Pilots Association to say, well, we don't know what the American military is doing there and we don't want to know, but we'd like our planes not to fly there anymore. Now, look, all of you know that we're obviously- Dude, that's awesome. Just, just straight up rerouting commercial air travel in a different country due to your top secret military base. That's awesome. Insane. Dude, it's so funny when people are like, uh, excuse me, Hassan, I can't believe you're saying America bad. Excuse me, Hassan, I can't believe you're saying America has so much power. Oh, that's so Western centric of you to say. And like, we're doing shit like this that I didn't even know of <laughs> oh that's so sick that's very so patriotic stupid. true blue australians and unlike this like weak and cowardly and pathetic international parts association who choose to just ignore the problem we think we deserve to know what's going on in our own country right so you know obviously we don't have any experience sneaking into a cia base let alone the most important one so we decided to speak to a lovely lady called donna a member of a group called Christians Against All Terrorism, who somehow managed to sneak into the base back in 2006. So how did you actually get in? Dude, this is my favorite type of person, by the way. Yo, we had so much more of this type of lady back in the day who would just like, and we still kind of do, but like the police have found new legal torture methods to like apprehend them and not kill them, but like give them permanent disabilities. But like, it's my favorite type of person, like old ladies who, I mean, she probably wasn't old back then, but old ladies who uh, like Greenpeace activists that will like chain themselves to a nuclear base and shit. They're the best. Into <laughs> well, we weren't great. Like we're not sleuths. We, we've, I've never broken into anything before. We kind of didn't know what to do. So one of our crew went to Bunnings and bought bolt cutters. It was all on camera and everything and later came out in court. The Bunnings guy testified that Brian went and bought these bolt cutters. Waterboarding some poor Bunnings employee to get this information out of him. This is... <laughs> now Donna explained to us that one of the ways we justify having a brutal top secret CIA base in the middle of Australia is by technically <clears throat> calling it a US Australian joint defense facility. <laughs> so while it's run entirely by the CIA, apparently Australians are meant to have some kind of like symbolic role in it as well. Are there any Australian staff working at Pogo? Yeah, yeah, there are. Um, cleaners, <laughs> catering. <laughs> I don't think they're in charge. <laughs> now, Donna obviously couldn't just drive through the front gate, so they set out on a six-hour trek in the middle of the night over Desert Mountain. Uh, hello, Friendship Facility. Thank you very much. They're jobs providers for the Aussies. Excuse me. Seems a lot like there's a lot of friendship going on here. Uh, you're not making a good argument against Donald Harold's uh, video. ...to get in this way. 
But the weirdest part is that they told the defence minister the exact night they were planning to sneak in. They said that they were Aussie citizens who were concerned about war crimes and they wanted to do a citizen's inspection of this foreign facility on Australian soil. But for some reason, no one took them seriously. We fell over, we hit fences, we bumped into trails, like walking in the dark. There were cows who started mooing at us, we're like, shh, 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 you know? When I thought, oh, this is just ridiculous, like, this is pretty crazy. And then I saw lights. And it really strikes you. Then I walked closer and I could see the base and I could see little people walking around. And I thought, fuck. They've hired oh, little people. <laughs> Far out. That, I'm not crazy. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That is crazy. I am right to be here. Yeah. It's three o'clock in the morning. There's people walking around this American spy base in the middle of the desert. What are they doing at three or four in the morning? And then we heard this, drop the bolt cutters. On both sides, there was AFP with guns. Get on the ground, get on the ground. I was like, you know what, I've been walking for six hours. I said, if I get on the ground, I am not getting up again. I said, I am so sore. Uh, she came behind me and, and kind of got the back of my head and, and pushed me to my knees. And I said, okay, all right, I, I can be on my knees. And then she got her boot and put it in into my back. And I was like, <laughs> like on the ground like. Dude, they're doing America shit in Australia, dog. That's crazy. No, AFP, I don't think it's the Australian Federal Police. I think, she, or, oh wait. It probably is. Yeah, you're right. That makes sense. I was thinking Air Force Police, but that's not, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, you're right. You're correct. It's the feds. It's the feds, yeah. Even their feds are doing, their feds are doing American things. Put your boot in. You don't have to yell at me. I said, you're the ones with the guns. <laughs> now, she may have had secret police standing the on her feds? neck, which, you know, doesn't sound. Yeah, actually, you know what? It's called American Friendship Police. You're wrong. I went a lot of fun, but I'm actually incredibly jealous that she's one of the only Australians to have ever seen the Pine Gap balls with their own eyes. This one of my photos. Oh, you got the balls. My dream is to see the balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really want to see them. So why would a random Christian woman risk potential life imprisonment just to protest this base? Well, Fair it thinking. turns out the story of Pine Gap is much more personal for Donna. She's been there on the ground when Pine Gap's missiles hit their targets. Now, some say the US directly killed about a million people in the war on terror. Others say the figure's closer to 5 million. We, we don't know the exact figure, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Right? Like the, the joke is no one actually cares when an Arab on the other side of the world dies. But Donna and her friends discovered a little war crime hack to make people pay attention. You see, if white people travel to the Middle East and go to these civilian areas in Iraq and just... Paint... Yeah, by the way, this is literally Doctors Without Borders. Like that is the entire basis of Doctors Without Borders is to, I guess, like try and exploit white supremacy while also doing like valuable uh medical help that is an absolute necessity in these places but like that low-key is the whole purpose because they're like well there's white people in this base or, or there's white people in this uh, uh hospital like they won't bomb it until obama comes around and it's like uh hello if you like your hospital you can't keep it uh kunduz hang out man it makes it much much harder for western governments to bomb that exact location this was, uh, let me be clear, and pussy too, called the Human Shield Program, and it was super effective, you know, apart from the one day that Donna didn't arrive on time. I went to a place called Ashwala Marketplace. There'd been a missile strike, and this had just been a civilian area. There were a few little um, market stores that had opened up for people to rush in and get some food and supplies um, during the war, and this place was blown to pieces and I saw a sight that was something I've never seen before, just the chaos. There were pieces of human flesh around on the ground and puddles of blood. Mm. And it, it, was, it was chilling, it was haunting. And I was saying, why, why here? Why our marketplace? Why my child? Mm. What could I say? Yeah, you don't have an answer. No answer. The coordinates for that missile came from Pine Gap. Yeah, well. Mm. Now, obviously, Donna was very motivated to get people talking about Pine Gap. And lucky for her, the police brought as much attention to it as possible. They dug up this 50-year-old law from the Cold War called the Defence Special Undertakings Act that had never been used before to claim that Donna was a national security threat and throw her in jail. 
Long story short, they were thrown in prison until the government realized how bad it looked to throw these cute Christians in jail on behalf of the Americans, when all they essentially did was trek through the outback in their own country. So they eventually reversed the decision and let them go. But the government learned their lesson and responded by tightening Pine Gap security and rolling out new draconian security laws that gives them the power to detain anyone without charge. So it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be different now. So it's gonna be harder for us. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Good luck. Now, because of this, no civilians have been brave enough to go in there after Donna. But we're not regular civilians, right? We're YouTubers. And YouTubers are on the front lines of content, right? We're there, boots on the ground, ready to film whenever a Japanese man commits suicide. Bro, do we just find a dead person in a suicide forest? We don't even flinch when the world calls upon us to film ourselves making out with our own sisters. If anyone's brave enough to sneak into the world's most significant CIA base, it's us. Now, these stories of Pine Gap guiding missiles into Iraqi weddings may sound like old news, but don't worry, Pine Gap's still as busy as ever. Right now, while Israel is on a rampant campaign to flatten Gaza so they can have more room to film their thirst traps, Pine Gap is in charge of providing targeting and analysis for their missiles, making sure that they hit the right hospitals and refugee camps and churches. Because of Pine Gap, Australia is directly responsible for the death of 28,000 Palestinian civilians so far. And we're not even at war with Palestine. I mean, like, while that's, like, super illegal, it does kind of make sense, right? I mean, Pine Gap is, you know, a big military base built on stolen Indigenous land. It's only right for them to continue the proud tradition of wiping out Indigenous populations across the world. Facts. By the top of the hour, wiping out those who are not subscribed, that's right. At the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for five dollars Australian dollars or for free with the Switch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime subscription a month. Most feel bad to watch Hasanak do such great work with others and none for Hasanavi. That's so funny that you're saying that. I don't give a shit. Now, I'm glad that he's to get to doing Pine the Gap, Lord's work. We've got to fly to the middle of Australia to a town called Alice Springs. It's a popular tourist destination where you get to take your family. It's so whimsical. You've got indigenous people serving you champagne while you stroll through the desert. With all these fun activities, you wouldn't even know that the CIA tracks every single person who enters the town. Security services uh, of, the, of the US, Australia and our allies would uh, typically be alert to anyone who might be uh, coming into the town. So we figured now that we're on a plane flying to Alice Springs, the only way to not blow our cover in a town full of American spies is to blend in. We're not Aussie YouTubers, you know? We're not collaborating with friendly Geordies to sneak into one of the world's most important CIA bases. No, we're just- You say you didn't realize they were, Austin Ox was this leftist? A person from my community became my editor? You didn't realize they were this leftist? Why wouldn't they be? One of the hundreds of regular oh. everyday- Chatter, you are in this community. Hey, American spies in Alice Springs. <coughs> Now, we definitely weren't expecting this in the middle of the outback, but there were American accents everywhere. I think I might have spotted a few spies. Oh, King the Aussies? Oh. No. They literally went to North Korea. That's it. It doesn't get... They went to North Korea specifically to dispel propaganda about North Korea. And Geordie didn't waste any time. He went straight in to investigate. <laughs> Now they may have pulled some fancy CIA mind tricks and managed to convince Geordie they weren't spies, but the rest of us weren't so easy to fool. So conspiratorial. <laughs> They're Americans <laughs> who live in Alice Springs. I have a way with him. He has an American accent. He's a spy. He's different. <laughs> That's That's where did they say they work? This is the mines, dude. <laughs> Look, we just have to agree to disagree about these men we encountered at the airport. But whatever, Geordie's probably got bigger problems to focus on, like the fact that his house got firebombed and he's receiving death threats from the mob because of his political YouTube videos. Either way, we obviously weren't going to make any big discoveries by speculating on random Americans we find in the airport lobby. So we decided to get into the car and drive through Arunda country to get to Alice Springs. <laughs> I watched your Jordy videos. Right, I gotta pee real quick. I'll be back in a second, yeah? Honestly, we're a bit lost out here. So we thought the best first stop would be the Tourism Information Center. Are there, are there any tours of Pine Gap? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are, are there any viewing spots? No. Because I know Mount Gillen, you could see it. No, yeah. you can't. No, it's a very small you, When road. you close the drive onto that road, it tells you to stop. There are military guards out there with machine guns. 
Yeah. So if you attempt to go in to find out, you'll be polite. We don't want to go in. Polite, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You'll be politely asking. It's nothing to see there. They only apparently have guardians there. It turns out getting into the base isn't as simple as we thought, and our spy disguises weren't working very well either. Why have you got the same ties? Yeah. Wearing suits, you stand out like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, they're not particularly comfortable. Yeah. If we want to sneak in successfully, we'll need to study the American spies in their natural habitat. And if you watch as many spy movies as we do, you'd know that the best place to find spies is at the casino. Luckily, there's a massive one just outside of town. This place is so American. Now, this casino was not at all what we expected. There, there was country music everywhere. It felt like they had airlifted Texas and dropped it in the middle of Australia. Now, obviously, we did what we had. Dude, that is so... That's as someone who has visited American bases in Turkey. That's so... F that's so consistent. Anywhere where you got bases, anywhere where you got Americans, okay, there's gonna be a pr there's gonna be a little piece of America somewhere. All right. Had to do to fit in. We we, we had to gamble. You know, we we didn't, didn't want to gamble, but we, we couldn't blow our cover either. And the, the fact that we do this in every single video we film with friendly Geordies is just coincidental, and you you shouldn't look into it. So we're in the middle of nowhere, right? Most of the patrons in this Outback Casino are Indigenous Australians, but then no joke. Everyone else is literally an American who works at the big CIA base just out of town. It's insane. Now, we obviously came here as a joke, right? We didn't expect to actually like see American spies, but there they were, just chilling, just hanging out after work, playing some weird American game called... Yeah, dog, what do you think they... I mean, yeah, of course they're going to be there. They, they got to go... They got to go to the Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, to... to Enjoy the, the local delicacies in Outback Steakhouse. Shit, or, or poos, or, no, it was craps, it's called craps. What's it like living here? It seems a bit boring. Like like really <laughs> now, I really wasn't expecting them to be this open about working at Pine Gap. What are you doing there? It felt like they were all trying to impress us and outdo each other. Oh, Austinox didn't uh, edit this one. They're, they're, they have a tradition of watching me watch their videos and, and calculate the amount of times I get up and away from the computer so they can tell Dark Viper AI or whatever his name is how little I've reacted to their video. I'm kidding. They don't do that second part. I just made that part up. Apparently, Austinox did not uh, edit this one. Uh, boy, boy, if you're watching, I can't believe you did not... Ask them if they watch Hasanabi. You found a bunch of Americans in Australia in a, 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 as, as CIA agents, and you were like, do you watch any American Twitch content creators? Come on, dude. Other with how fancy their security clearance was. Go listen to this guy. This guy doesn't get it. He doesn't know it. So it's just making I'm literally it up. But I have to say, for a foreign army operating a top secret CIA base in the middle of our country, they were kind of fun to hang out with. Look, we had a fun time. It's, it's a pity they'll probably hate us tomorrow night once they find out the guys they were gambling with the night before were going to sneak into their workplace the next morning. But before we went to bed, we realised we should probably try and get some legal advice before we try to sneak into one of the world's most important CIA bases. So we called our lawyer, Mark Davis. Hi, guys. Have, listen, you, you're doing me a, bloody, a bit of a tough sandwich here. I know all about Pine Gap. I'm finding out quickly. <laughs> we realised we'd put him in a bit of a tough position, you know, speed-reading niche esoteric CIA laws in the middle of the night. He's a little... There's lots of them. Uh, let me have a look on the... Okay, no, no, no. Um, okay, we've got security and defence premises, uh, Bill, 2011. Certain members of the ADF can use reasonable and necessary force in the event there's an attack upon ADF premises. Establish a, a statutory regime of search and seizure powers. Oh, my God. So they're essentially saying they could uh, impose military uh, law upon you uh, mm. if you uh, get too cheeky. Here. So we'll get five um, stars on my video. Yeah, yeah. If we're not actually trespassing on the base, for example, one of them would be kicking a soccer ball over the fence and then asking if we could get our soccer ball back. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, here's uh, that. What are we calling that? Let's have a look back how they would have that. That's like a projectile. Is that not a projectile? Can they use 
can they use reasonable and necessary force, that is, this is armed soldiers, uh, in the event of an attack upon ADF premises? Do you think the soccer ball's an attack? It might be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They've certainly got search and seizure powers. You've lost your soccer ball for sure. <laughs> <laughs> under, under that power. Well, that's the most important. You're not kicking it back. So you've lost your soccer ball and they might kill you. Yes, but apart from that, uh, you should be okay. It looks like they kick the soccer ball in immediately explodes the laws have changed quite a lot since donna went in this place has become much more dangerous for civilians no one has filmed inside the premises of like even the perimeter sort of premise of the premises uh, uh for a good 20 years and when you think of where have you seen such footage never right that's pretty hard to find it this is this is a very secretive base now particularly with your marriage it's crazy that like not only not only is he sneaking into this base but he is literally bringing the most hated, like the most prosecuted, hunted man in Australia, and a literal Australian weapons manufacturer with him. It's like it's like you have a guy who is a weapons manufacturer in Australia, and another guy whose house was firebombed. Domestic enemy number one and number two. Uh, yet yeah, there's been almost no uh, coverage of it, has there? Isn't Fuck. It? Ice, mate. Don't even, does anyone even try to cover it? Does it even exist anymore? It used to be, no. you know. At the this is literally a guy Richie ass cast. Now, it barely passes for public comment. It's extraordinary, really. What do they do at Pine Gap? Why are they so coy about it? You've gone there. You don't even fucking know. Are you kidding me? What are you clowns up to? What are you doing? <laughs> we're just trying to play soccer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just trying to play soccer in the desert. To intercept. Um, uh, Electronic communications, phone calls. So like this yeah, phone call right now. Yeah. We've got to cut him some slack here because, you know, we did put him in a tough position at the last minute. But at the same time, I don't feel like he was the most sensible person to go to for advice. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, th I think there's no option but to bang the gate. Yeah, once that gate opens, you guys got to go. You just got to go. <laughs> gunning, gunning towards the facility. <laughs> <laughs> He's banging. He's so Let's see what they'll do. It'll be just hilarious. I'd love it. Uh, <laughs> well, we've gotten legal advice, I guess, but I'm not, I'm not sure if talking to Mark was the best idea. I was much more chill about this before I realised they could, you know, legally kill us if we entered. So they can kill us? Seems to be the vibe. Yeah. Yeah, but we knew that, right? See if there's a recording. I don't know if they could shoot me. <laughs> you didn't know that. Though. They're not going to shoot us. They might. There's no way they'll shoot us. If they didn't shoot the people who actually got into the facility, why would they shoot... A that was 20 guys. years ago. Who's kicking the soccer ball? Though? Not, <laughs> not me. You, do it. you got, you got, look at these legs. You got, you're, the, you're the best kicker we got. I, I don't know. I'm kind of freaking out a bit about this now. <laughs> but we've come all this way. It's too late to back out now. We just had to focus on trying to get some sleep. And at 5 a.m., it was showtime. We're going to get into this base. Now, we figured that Donna's main problem was that they snuck in over the mountains looking like these like peace-loving hippie activists. But the thing is, no one's actually tried to just drive straight through the front gate pretending they work there. So we put on our suits and got ready for our first day of work at the top secret no CIA way. base. No way! No, their accents are too fucking Australian. They're not going to be able to get in. They're going to be like, you don't look like cleaners, mate. Get the fuck out of here. I want smoke, bro. Leave me alone. Needless to say, everyone was stressing out, I mean, except Geordie for some reason. Dude, I'm, I'm so like chill about this. You're I don't know so why. relaxed. I think, yeah. I think you kind of just want to die. Yeah, I'm kind of just cool with it. I'm just like, bored. <laughs> Driving through this sprawling, desolate Aussie desert, it's hard to imagine a giant American CIA base here. But apparently it's coming up after this turnoff. The only people driving down this road are spies. I hate this. Oh, fuck. Ah, just do it. Just do it. Okay, I think it's this right here. We is that an e-tron? No, Sick. we should. They're gonna shoot us. Give us the sign. There's the sign. Holy shit. Oh, it just says no through road. No, come on, you can see it's a through road. <sighs> yeah, this is close. Oh, what, that's their first deceptive decoy? Yeah. Yes. Oh, 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 okay, we're gonna turn around, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this can't it be it. <laughs> it looks like I, I couldn't see the logo. <laughs> I gotta say that, like, not not a bad first defence. Start light. Wait, is this the right street, Alex? Yeah, this looks oh, like it is a all Kia. the way to Pine Gap. What did you click, like? 
you can't click Pine Gap on Google Maps. You can't have directions. I can't believe this road ends with us <laughs> going to work in the spy base. You know what's going to be great though? The footage of you sweating Freaking bullets, out. pretending that you work there. And these are people that are trained to detect liars. <laughs> Yep, I'm, I'm working. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm just your average rinky dink American. They're like, what's this humming noise I hear <laughs> in the background? It's very strange. I can't place my finger on it, but there's this humming noise. It's getting increasingly louder. Hmm. <laughs> you got this. You're just going into work, Alexa. <laughs> yeah, but it's just, I just, yeah. You are going to work. It's not even a lie. No. And you know what else as well? When they say, do you work here? You can say, yes, technically I work exactly where I am. Yeah. <laughs> as long as there's a camera on me, Wherever I'm working. I can just say it's top secret. I don't think that you can lie. I think it's impossible for you to lie. <laughs> the closer we got, the more the pressure was getting to us. See, what I'm worried about is I'm really bad at driving automatic. Yeah, it's in a car. So what if I accidentally run them over? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How can you be bad at driving Jeez. automatic? Wow, he does suck at automatic. Yeah. <laughs> he f***ed up at automatic. Of pressure, <laughs> the car's <Right>. basically driving. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh shit, someone's behind us. Ah. Really? Where did you come from? Oh. Oh, you for real? He's Just speed around. up. No, no, he's, he's overtaking. Oh, okay. Slow. We finally got to the first acknowledgement that American. Pine Gap actually exists, that it's actually here, and you'll be prosecuted if you go any further. So we obviously stopped here to take some YouTube thumbnail photos. Should I be more hyped? Did you hear that? What? It sounded like bombs going off. No. Did you hear that? It sounded like gunshots or like, I think there is a firing range nearby as well. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Guns. Do, do, do. Yeah. It's a firing range. <laughs> Now look, we don't want to go to jail and this sign says no photography. So I'm sorry, but there's no video footage from this point onwards. But there's no sign saying you can't get someone on Fiverr to make an animation using the audio you recorded. And if there was a sign like that, we, we didn't see it. So I think we're in the clear to show you this. This this is oh, it fuck. coming up. Oh shit. You got the American flag. We're gonna get, we're gonna get shot. <laughs> Dude, I do not want to be in here. Can he, can he come and meet us outside? Trespassing on this land is prohibited. No, yeah, just go in and ask. Yeah. Hi there. Yeah, how's it going? Okay, good, good. the Fiverr... Uh, the Fiverr boys made them look hot. Yeah, hi, um, what's your name? Alexa. Alexa and yeah. No, no, close the gate, close the... Oh, we can go in? Oh, we got the end? Oh, no, no, stop! Close the oh. gate. Alright. Okay, can I get to pull back, please? Yep. Dude, this guy's a legend. Yeah, I think they like us. In the disabled, come on. Yeah, I don't you're know. You've broken enough oh. laws, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, turn off the car, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rental car, I've got no idea how to... You got a license on you? Uh, yep, I got it on my phone. Um, so what are you doing here today? Uh, just working. So when you work at the base, you have something that you have to show me before you centre. A magic trick? I've uh, got... Uh, give me your ID. Okay. I don't have my ID, I need the internet connection to get it. <laughs> this is... No hard copy? <laughs> no. Is your phone recording? Sorry? Is your phone recording? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ID, uh, uh, why did he who say they? just say no? I don't know who those guys are. Uh, I need no. your IDs guys, so if you I, have IDs I can't let you just leave. Why aren't you going after the real criminals? <laughs> yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> what, what are those guys, guys doing? <laughs> we don't, they're on our phones. Can we come, can we come back? With them? <laughs> Can we come back with ID? You want to put one up your ass? Huh? Don't literally put it up your ass. I will, I will. <laughs> I'll, I'll you, do it. You put it in no, your butt cheeks. Wait, you can't let us leave if we don't have IDs. We can't go in without <laughs> with ID. It's a catch-22. We're stuck. Yeah, we're stuck at my <laughs> stuck gap. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, uh, Hi there. Good. Um, let's try to get my... This is where they get shot and killed, by the way. Which is crazy that the rest of the video is actually edited by Austin Ox. But this, up to this part, it's not. Yeah. Really sad. Australia trip over before it even started. My ID up. All I have is the guys with 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 who are you with? <laughs> who are we with? We with these guys. We work here. here. I love that grunts globally are just the dumbest people, which is awesome. Every single interaction they've had is with a person 
Like they almost got in. Like they almost drove in and this guy almost revealed who like gave him an in basically they they are they are henchmen like the dudes are all henchmen uh, type well like in this currently we're working yeah you're working at this space yeah, we're yeah. working right here okay you guys stay right there thank you <laughs> i think we're it <laughs> we're idiots this is actually fucked what just happened yeah so should i get out and ask him no no no, 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 no. no. maybe you can open the window and excuse me can i go home please <laughs> I'm scared. Oh no, the gates are closing. Wait, what? We're stuck? Oh, look at that. Wait, what are we meant to do? How come these guys get to leave? We're gonna get shot. We're Wait, I wanna leave. I feel, you know what this feels like? Like we're just committing suicide. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we've done something really stupid. Like really and we're all g each other up to like make No, jokes. let's just actually ask him. Just be like, let's oh. just say it was a bit, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Say, okay, what do you want to do, George? George just George, keep George, arguing George, and lying. <laughs> well, we've got to decide what we're actually saying. Are we going to keep talking about how we work here? I think it's... Just, just say like actually, one more time. We say we actually just want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> no, say we were... Say we... Yeah, we, we're off shift now. You could ask them. Yeah. They all look friendly. Yeah, they're yeah, fun. They're, 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 they're going to be fans of the channel. channel. Yeah. yeah. No, this, this guy fun. doesn't look like he's having this fun. This guy looks no, serious. He looks upset. Gentlemen. Hello. Hello. How are you going? Hello. Hello. It is an offence to video and take photos in here. In here, is it? Okay. Yes. Okay. So if you're taking photos in here, no. we can confiscate all that. Okay. okay. No, do not do that. Now, a lot of time passed talking to this heavily armed man. So they, they had us locked in this facility, which was terrifying. But surprisingly, the more we chatted to this guy and answered his questions, the more he started to chill out. But he did make it abundantly clear that we'd go straight to prison if we ever came back. Okay. What, what's your purpose here? Um, just working. That was cr- wait, am I still here or not? Can you guys see me? The, the f Australian government got to me. Oh my god. Right. Okay. Yep. Um, do you have your name though? I will Yeah, yeah. Deal. Uh, it's Alexa and the channel's Boy Boy. Um, Boy Boy. Yeah. Like and subscribe, it's B-O-Y, <laughs> B-O-Y. Not judging at all. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a lot of YouTube stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. oh. Well, the the base doesn't want you here. Okay. So you'll have to exit. What right. goes what goes on in here? Well, they don't tell me that. I, oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not important enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. So um, yeah. yeah, it's Fair not enough. a it's not an access to anyone that comes along. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Thank, Thank you. you. He was thanks, casual, guys. very nice. If we if we do another thing, they're going to come back. Yeah, I don't think we should get arrested over it. Now, it was a pretty intriguing setup they had going. It seemed like the perimeter was staffed by Aussies doing security who had no idea what the Americans were doing inside the base. Nonetheless, they made it clear that we couldn't go back to the front gate without getting arrested. But then it occurred to me, what if we didn't go back at all? What, what, what if it was someone else? A completely different person with completely different proportions. <laughs> I think it'll work. If you keep smoking the cigarette, I think it works. No, officer. You'd like to do a search and frisk, would you? Well, I'm going to have to see a warrant. This is awful. I thought the trench coat was going to be longer and wider. It just doesn't look like right. thought this is going to be a bit I thought, that, I thought that you'd get past the CIA with this one. I like it. You thought it was seriously. This is brilliant. I don't, I don't, why are they laughing? This seems like a good idea. I want this out oh, like a lot this more. This was your plan, eh? When I bought this, I asked the woman, Can, is it long enough for two people? And she said, yes. <laughs> You're like genuinely disappointed. <laughs> oh, this, is this was a bit. He's actually disappointed. Well, since our disguise doesn't work and we can't show our face at the main gate anymore, maybe we can try a different approach and get them to let us in using the power of sympathy. We're just innocent soccer players in the middle of nowhere trying to get our ball back. I mean, we thought we were in the middle of nowhere, but we quickly realised we were being followed. We weren't alone. Someone did a shit. Someone did a shit. The CIA is trying to keep us out by making it smell really bad in here. So after a bit of a trek on the opposite side of this five kilometre wide facility, we finally made it to the first outer perimeter of Pine Gap. Oh fuck, look at that. What? That's your fucking camera up on the... Where? On the thing, eh? that white thing. Where? Right there. Oh shit. Fuck. Do you reckon it, it's not an automatic turret with like a fucking... No. no, it's just a big camera. Fuck, they're gonna come now. No, that's cool. We... At least with a camera here, they'll have proof that we're regular dudes just playing soccer. Okay, good. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. 
Who's getting that? Why is the audio delayed? I don't understand. If it's delayed on your end, it's just delayed on your end. You just need to refresh because everything is stable on my end now. It looks like a missile, mate. I was passing it to you. Maybe, you get maybe it. we can call them. Do they have an, is there a number for Pine Gap? We're legally allowed to go over just to get a soccer ball, right? <laughs> that's, that's the rule. <laughs> I think so. A little help. Can we get our ball back? Wait, Wait at the very least, was that in or out? Go back to replay. Yeah, they got they got VAR on that thing. Yeah, yeah, come on. Can, oh, we, can, get, someone, can, you can we get VAR? In? I mean, if they don't arrive soon and give us our ball back, I think it's actually a pretty lousy spy facility. That could have been a bomb. Please don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not say that. No Pine Gap phone number. Can we just post on Twitter? Oh like yeah, let's at, post at, on Twitter. Let's say, CIA. can we get our ball back, please? <laughs> at yeah, C can we have special exemption? <laughs> now we thought we were being funny, but once we heard the security driving down the road, it dawned on us that we didn't have any footage backed up, and if we got arrested now, it'd all be confiscated. They're definitely coming up. Let's go. Oh shit, they are coming Wait, up. Should we stop? Should we not be oh, running away from them? No, don't run. So we ended up sprinting all the way back to our car. Now, needless to say, everyone was freaking out about our footage. So we had to have a serious conversation about how we're going to hide it if we get caught. Well, do we have backups if this gets confiscated? Yeah, Chris, so Chris told me to put it in my ass. Yeah, yep. yeah, okay. But no, but if it's on your ass, it's bad though. They're not going to look for it. Yeah, no, but it's still on you. So Where should just, I put it? just put it in the car. Did you put it in your ass? Like yeah. actually in your ass? What, you I think you were joking. What do you mean I'm joking? Oh, the CIA is going to search us. I'm going to pretend to put it in my ass. <laughs> but isn't the first place <laughs> they search your it. ass? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That smells so bad. Wait, have... No. <laughs> Fuck off. <all. laughs> <laughs> Whose SD card was it? Was it one of yours? Probably. <laughs> I think you can it's, have yeah, it. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not like <laughs> it's mine, you know? <laughs> Smells like it might be my property right now. <laughs> Isn't that what dogs do? It's like no one told you to put it in your ass. You just did it. What? Yeah, yeah. Is no it, well, where would you it. put it? Where would you, you put it? Hide this SD card. No one said hide it. We just turned around and you just stole one and just went. <laughs> Last time I tried to keep our project safe. <laughs> now my fingers smell. Yeah. Oh. It's the second time we were scared away by security, but we weren't ready to give up yet. Now, we know Pine Gap is surrounded on both sides by these mountain ranges, so we decided to follow Donna's example and start climbing some mountains. Yeah, look how close we are to Pine Gap. If we go up on this ridge here, we're gonna be like- In prison. 200 meters from the big balls. I mean, I do really wanna see the balls. Imagine if we saw the balls. Yeah, I don't wanna see the balls. So we set out for a day of trekking through hills in the outback. If I see the balls, I'm gonna feel like I've committed a crime. Yeah. I've never climbed a mountain in a suit. Well, we've got to be inconspicuous, you know? If they see us up there, I'll be like, oh, carry on, fellow spies. And does anyone have snake bandages? No. No, we got nothing. This is actually horrible. Oh, that's, that's, well, I don't like that. Are there snakes? Yeah. Of course there's snakes out here. There'll be snakes, and then how do we fucking carry the person back down and tie them up and fucking... Oh, we got ties. That's a snake bandage. Now, this turned out to be a very deceptive trek. Every time we got to the top of a ridge, there was another plateau and an even bigger ridge behind it. The horizon just kept moving away from us. Another ridge? There's another ridge, yeah. Do we want to go one more or? Do you reckon that could be the last one? I don't know. Let's look on Google Maps. After the next ridge, there's a road which looks like it's a gate. This is Pine Gap. This is a bit far. We are right here. In the middle of the day, we're like 100 metres away from there. No, it's a couple of kilometres, I think. I want to see the balls in real life, a little bit. But I know that if I see them, then someone might be looking at me as well. We could... I just don't want to get arrested. I'd be like, just, I'd yeah. rather get arrested. That's gunshots. You hear it? And we find a to firing We go range. towards the gunshots? <laughs> or, we, um, or we just go back home, have a nice meal. Do a video comparing McDonald's and Red Rooster or something, you know, something normal. We decided to continue towards the base, but we were all moving inexplicably slower. It's a lot further than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we, I think we got a good like hour till we get up there. Yeah, it's not an hour. Isn't it amazing that our fear subsided and our laziness kicked in? <laughs> <laughs> it's my okay, I'm still scared. You're saying we have to go to that one, the horizon. Not, not what, how are you feeling? I mean, it's your call. We came all this way, but it's also it's also easier not to. But you know, it's one of those things. If we get arrested, what happens to the rest of our footage and all that other shit? True. It's in your ass. 
It's not anymore. You guys won't let me put it in there anymore. <laughs> but she was like, they were hiding from the front. That's a gunshot. It's such horrible timing. I hate this. Yeah, they're not shooting at intruders. They're just practicing their aim. For when intruders come. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. If there's a firing range and you come on the back of it, you just get fucking murdered. Yeah, I hadn't heard the gunshots until now, and they're very clear. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's gunshots again. It's not even them getting arrested. If they lose the footage and there's no video, you know what I mean? That's way more annoying. I, don't, I just don't think we should be walking that way. What, to Whenever I've heard shots? a gunshot, I've always thought, go the other way. They sound like they're over there. We're walking Yeah, I don't think they're going up the mount. Guns don't have such a big range. Yeah, we'll go that way. They won't get us. <laughs> We're just peer pressuring each other because we get nothing from being up there. Oh, they're so loud. It doesn't sound like a normal gun as well. It sounds like machine gun. <laughs> yeah, that's... Wow. wow. Yeah, that's scary. As if they need that much practice. <laughs> when was talking? the last time someone tried to get in? 20 years ago. Since we didn't want to get shot by surprising a bunch of armed American soldiers in the outback, we decided to head back. Now, Would I do this? Say, yes. I felt a bit silly. We, we came all this way and didn't really do much. We just showed up at the base and walked around it all day. Honestly, I was worried that we'd wasted a video here and that we didn't really do anything. But the next morning, we realised we'd actually done a lot more than we thought. So we woke up the next morning. It was our last day in Alice Springs and I had an interview booked. You know, we were meant to be interviewing an Indigenous elder to tell us about, you know, the significance of the land that was stolen from them. But out of nowhere, while we are getting ready, I got this call from the police. Hello? Yeah, you there, mate? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, hey, uh, I hey, uh, just need to speak to you in regards to an incident that took place out of Pine Gap yesterday. Are you still in Alice Springs? Uh, yep. You are available to come into the police station and have a chat? Uh, no, no, I've got a flight back to Sydney. I choked. I obviously had no idea how to handle that call, but it was too late. The goddamn police were chasing us. They, they could rock up at any moment. It, it was now a race against the clock. We had to pack up Why the Airbnb and get on that cleaning up the Airbnb? That's so funny. Bro, book it. Fuck you mean, dude. He literally... There's not that many flights from whatever that bumfuck area to Sydney, so they know exactly what flight it is. You should have never said that, but now that you said that, why are you cleaning? At this point, we started losing our cool. Fuck. Hey, well, we're freaking out. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the smart of the city. Yeah, let's just pack up and go. Like, they will call the airport. Like, it is. But we quickly realised, if the police do catch us, we'll definitely have our footage confiscated and wiped. So we started the two hour long process of backing it all up online, which gave us a bit of time to just kick back, relax, and blame each other for the horrible predicament we're in. We're on the run now. Do you not clean your Airbnb? First of all, I don't really Airbnb. And secondly, cleaning your Airbnb when you're leaving is very different than cleaning your Airbnb when you're evading the police. <laughs> okay? I like that you thought I was just saying, like, what the fuck are you doing? Just cleaning your Airbnb. <laughs> like, that's not what my... That, that's not... Is that the takeaway that you got here? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't know. I like to say, called you. <laughs> I'm not the ringleader here. I'm just the one who booked the rental car. This is your channel, Alexa. I'm just the one who booked the rental car. We're all here because of you. I'm just the one who booked the rental car. He drives the car. I drove the car too. I mean, they've probably already got all the videos. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's it. If Pine Gap is as good as it is, then they would have our footage already. Yeah, prove it, boys. Yeah. I've hidden an Easter egg in all of our videos. If you're really the CIA and not just some hucksters trying to make us for fools, you'll know what we did at exactly 9.32 a.m. Now, the one upside was that we had enough time to practice some cool lines to deliver to the cops when they catch us. We should do this bit when we're arrested. Ah. 
falls, falls, falls. <laughs> right where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly where I'm- Your hand off my penis? I see you know your judo! I want to be, whilst you guys are busy here at the airport. Democracy Fun manifest! <laughs> what was it? What am I being arrested for? A succulent Chinese meal? Left woefully unguarded. <laughs> <laughs> I have ten people sneaking. Wait, wait, they're gonna get this footage. <laughs> this is gonna sound so much worse. No, no, it's a joke. <laughs> And while our footage is uploading, we've also got enough time to tell you to join our Patreon. So in all seriousness, we're being hunted by the federal police. And there's no way we'd be brave enough to do that if it wasn't for the support of our patrons, right? Like while it's terrifying, it's also just like really expensive. You know, it's hard to find lawyers who do like national security law and, and also just like not a lot of lawyers want to take on the CIA. So, you know, with your support, we'll be able to make more videos like this. But if you join our Patreon, you also get a free video every month. You get to join our beautiful Discord community. You know, we have a live Q&A after every video. It's all, it's just, it's just a great time for everyone, right? Okay, back to the video. We were um, we were running away from the cops. Okay, with our footage finally backed up, we were ready to head to the airport in a last ditch attempt to get out of Alice Springs. It's funny, are you ready to get arrested, Alexa? I don't know, are they just, they just want to talk. Yeah. But, I'm about what? We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. We are watching officers, we didn't do anything wrong. We did nothing wrong. You know, I think the CIA is not very nice. No, 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 no. The CIA is on, I love the CIA. Oh, yeah, app. yeah. I like CIA, I like AFP, I like the Northern Territory Police, I think they're all great. Just lovely like institutions. And I think they're very good looking. Oh. The the cops. Just... And we made it to the airport and so far, no police officers waiting for us. But we kept watching our backs. We just needed to get on. They defunded it, dude. That's why. They defunded the police in Australia too. That plane before they showed up, which started feeling harder and harder since the flight kept getting delayed. Now, at this point, we started thinking the police stalled the flight until they could come and arrest us. But after another anxiety riddled half an hour, we found ourselves on the tarmac, coming up the stairs and so close to getting back home. And it happened. The plane took off. We, we did it. Uh, I don't think I've ever been happier to be on a plane. We, we thought we were home free, but you know, as you're aware, the federal police had a different idea. Hello, Nova. Oh Could you please come off? Jordan Shanks and Aliska Voluko. <laughs> they can't Almost. Get out to name, bro. That means I don't have to come off. Uh... If you are on board, just make your way forward to the uh, front of the cabin. Now, we've never spoken to federal police before, and we don't know much about what you're meant to do when talking to cops, but the one thing we do know is that you don't talk to cops. Anything that you say or do will be recorded and may later be used in evidence. Are you okay? Yeah. So this federal agent turned on his little recording device and, you know, trying to get a statement from us that he could use against us in court. And we just did that thing they, they do in the movies where they keep saying, like, am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? And then, like, when, when it turned out we weren't under arrest, we just got the hell out of there. I think we can leave them now. You're free to leave? You're free to leave? I did want to have a quick conversation. I agree. Not comfortable talking about it. Yeah, But thanks for that. So cucked. Dude, Australian police, so cucked. The American cops would have literally put them in a chokehold, slammed their bodies in the pavement, and been like, nope, you're going to fucking jail right now. The situation, can, if I talk, you don't have to say anything. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just let you know. I think we're free to leave. There's nothing incident up there, but you don't have to answer me. So we made it back home, but. I don't really know what's meant to happen now. Like we've been talking to our lawyer nonstop. I'm, I'm just awake. Like I'm laying awake at night and we're just thinking the feds are going to raid the house at any minute. It's, it's honestly the most uneasy I've ever been in my life. And all of this for just trekking through the outback in our own country. Like, look, we, we get a bit of criticism on our channel. While the vast majority of our fans are Americans who like our videos, you know, there's a very small group of upset American viewers who don't like what we're saying. And instead of trying to point out our mistakes, who the f goes in there to be z z z you go you guys are sure obsessed with america starting to get a bit dull self-indulgent virtue signaling makes for dull content and i know you boys are more creative than this yes war crimes are bad and bush is evil you're right about any everything how entertaining is it to watch two guys be right about everything bringing up so many interesting new points oh my god dude Ugh. there's nothing more lame than a dumbass who is just like so butthurt about someone saying that america objectively is doing bad shit stop you're such a pussy, dude. You're such a little bitch. You're not even the f American government. Why the f do you care? They just say that we're obsessed with America. You know, they say we should stay out of it and focus more on our own country. But what no one understands is that this is America, right? I, I wish it wasn't, but it is, right? We don't have a choice. The Americans just run things here. Like, we, we can't vote on it. Our politicians won't even talk about it. 
American politicians can talk about it, though. Their, their congressmen are constantly invited to visit Pine Gap, but our elected officials can't go anywhere near it, even though it's meant to be our country. It, it's such a bizarre and pathetic relationship, and, and they don't pull this kind of shit with anyone else. Like, like Canada and Mexico are their neighbours, right? And when America starts telling them what to do or ask them to come along and blow up some random farmers in the Middle East, they tell them to fuck off. But their little Aussie lapdogs on the complete other side of the world have always done exactly what they tell us to do. And if you turn on the news in Australia, every single channel will tell you that we actually need the Americans here to defend us from China. China, our biggest trading partner, a country that not only has zero interest in invading us, but they haven't invaded anyone for the past 50 years. Like, we're meant to be scared of them, right? But meanwhile, the Americans invaded us a long time ago. Like, our country is littered with American soldiers, and if any of our politicians even questions it, they just get rid of him. And if any civilians happen to stumble upon the perimeter of a US base, literally walking through our own country, our federal police will chase us down on behalf of a foreign occupying army. We're in America, right? We're just a giant US military base just floating in Asia. And if, you know, if the Americans decide they want to go to war with China, then our beautiful island home is going to be on the front lines. No one ever gave us a say in it. Damn. Powerful message, mate. Fucking at fucking hell. Incredible. Phenomenal video.